Today in our 1995 Dodge Ram pickup, we're gonna review and install the Curt Class 5 Extra Duty 2-inch receiver dupe hitch, part number C15300. Here's what our hitch is gonna look like once it's installed. We've got a fully welded construction with a strong square tube that attaches our receiver tube, which is a two inch by two inch, has the pre-drilled five ace pinhole and chain hold downs on either side of our receiver tube. It's got a nice classic look that adds some nice finishing touches to the look of our vehicle. Now our hitch is capable up to 2,400 pounds of tongue weight and 16,000 pounds of tow capacity. Next, I'll give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is three inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 17 and a half inches. We'll now go ahead with the installation. Special note, on vehicles equipped with a custom exhaust, it may be necessary to relocate the tailpipes to outside the frame rail, allowing room for the hitch. Now let's go ahead and point out our attachment points. We're gonna have a total of six attachment points, three on each side. Now, depending on your application, your attachment points could be pre-drilled holes already in the frame. This one already has three half-inch pre-drilled holes. However, the hardware here for our rear attachment point is gonna be a 916th carriage bolt and block. So we'll need to enlarge the rear attachment point hole. Keep in mind, each process we do here on one side will get repeated identically on the opposite side as our attachment points and hardware are the same. There, now with our passenger side drilled out, we can even take our 916th carriage bolt and double check to make sure it'll fit. Now with our hole drilled out, we're ready to install our hardware. We're gonna take our 916th carriage bolt and spacer block, engage the two, and put them above the frame channel, dropping them down through our pre-drilled hole. Once we get the hitch in place, we'll use the 916 flange nut to secure it. Now for the center and forward attachment points, we're gonna use the half inch carriage bolt and block. And then once the hitch is in place, we'll use the half inch flange nut. Let's go ahead and put all our hardware in place. Now with the passenger side done, I'll move over to the driver's side and repeat the same process. Quick tech tip, there could be some wiring laying on the top of the frame rail. You wanna make sure you don't smash that between the carriage bolt and block and the frame. Now with all our hardware in place, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install your flange nuts. Now as we install our fasteners, we'll install each one finger tight until we have them all in place. Here at the center attachment point, we're gonna add a second spacer block before we install the flange nut. Then for our forward attachment point is again our half inch flange nut. Now with all my hardware in place here on the passenger side, I'll move over to the driver's side repeating the same process. Now once we have all our hardware installed, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Now with all our hardware tightened down, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. That'll complete the install and review of our Curt Extra Duty Class 5 2-inch receiver tube hitch, part number C15300 on our 1995 Dodge Ram pickup.